الله يبارك فيك
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد عليه وعلى آله وصحبه أتم الصلاة وأتم التسليم إذا كل شيء شير جست ماي برادر محمد صادق سنجراني شير من سنت أو إسلامك رابي بليكو باكستان أنا رابي جست ladies and gentlemen السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. It's my pleasure to welcome you all of this happy occasion of 92nd National Day of Kingdom of Saudi Arabia on behalf of myself and my colleague of Embassy of Saudi Arabia in Pakistan. I extended my warmest congratulation to the custodian of the Holy Mosque. King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Allah on this happy occasion. That band us together and remind us the wonderful past of our beloved country. Ladies and gentlemen, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia pay special attention to his religious and historical relation with all Islamic country. The Islamic Republic of Pakistan is one of the most important Islamic country that enjoy and deep holistically and brotherly relation with the government of Saudi Arabia and its people. The political, religious, military, cultural and diplomatic relation between the two brotherly country have a long and proud history. The relation between the two countries is nothing but sincere Islamic brotherhood and pure love for each other. Ladies and gentlemen, back to this happy occasion, I would like to mention here that the feeling of the National Day required us to support all development uh, plan and initiative taking for progress and prosperity of Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the forefront of the successful initiative in the Kingdom Fijian 2030, which represents a new stage leading the country to the bright future. Ladies and gentlemen, in the end, I once again thank you all for participating in this blessed event and prayer for the peace, prosperity, and stability of the both brotherly country. May this happy, may this happy occasion return to us again and again. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. His Excellency, Brother Nawab, Ambassador of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Honorable Federal Ministers, Parliamentarians, my Saudi Arabian brothers, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum and very good evening. It is a pleasure to be here today with such distinguished friends and brothers from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. After seeing the sentiments here, I can only imagine the wonderful celebrations back in your home country. I thank the Ambassador and the Royal Embassy of Saudi Arabia for the warm invitation for me to be part of this momentous day. On behalf of the Senate and the people of Pakistan, I extend to you our, our felicitation and best wishes on this National Day. 
I also extend our sincere wishes to His Royal Highness King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, all members of the Saudi royal family and the people of Saudi Arabia on this special occasion. Saudi Arabia enjoys a very elevated position as the religious home of Muslims all around the world. As it is the sacred land of our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Pakistan sincerely appreciates all the efforts of His Highness King Salman to bring peace and prosperity for his people on this holy land. He is also blessed to have the great honor to serve the two holy mosques in a such passionate manner and work for the welfare and uplift of Muslim Ummah around the world. We extend our good wishes and prayers for his long and healthy life. I also appreciate the efforts and initiatives of the Saudi leadership in the continued improvement of its services related to Hajj. Despite the pandemic 19, this year Hajj arrangements were unmatched for which we have nothing, nothing but praise. I must also note here from my personal experience that His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman as a young visionary leader has introduced remarkable new facilities for pilgrims through use of IT and other innovations. Dear friends, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman has always expressed very warm sentiments towards Pakistan. He is a leader on mission whose progressive and modern ideas continue to inspire the youth. His initiatives like the MIST Foundation the multi-billion dollars tech city of New York, the e-export strategy and environmental efforts to combat climate change seems only be the tip of the iceberg. When I visited Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in 2018, I was impressed by his idea of youth center for guiding and preparing the youth for future. I also came to know that His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman works for 18 hours a day, motivating and inspiring the people of his kingdom, especially the youth, and leading them by example. Pakistan takes pride in its talented youth and offer its full support to His Royal Highness with his youth engagement efforts. We must therefore continue to engage and collaborate to play an effective role in achieving our shared goal, inshallah. Pakistan and Saudi Arabia have always shared deeply cordial relations. We have a long history of bilateral support, especially in politically trying times. Pakistan always is and always will extend its unconditional support to Saudi Arabia as its rightly term as the kingdom closest Muslim ally of Pakistan. It is thus most heartening to see our exchanges as they help to further strengthen the bond between our two countries. A testimony to their deep-rooted friendship is the immense support extended to Pakistan 
by Saudi Arabia in helping the flood effectees in Pakistan. The world is aware of the widespread destruction caused by the recent floods as Pakistan continues to manage this humanitarian crisis. Saudi Arabia has so far sent five flights and 100 trucks for emergency relief carrying over 950 tons of food and other relief items to 17 flood revenge districts of Pakistan. More consignments continue to pour in and Pakistan sincerely appreciate this brotherly gesture in such trying times. Excellency Ambassador personally reached out to flood effectees in far-flung area and remained there for many days for which I applaud. Ladies and gentlemen, as allies, as brethren of same faith, we must also take on the modern challenges of the Islamic world together. After all, it is not just our moral but religious duty to help our struggling Muslim brothers and sisters around the world, which Saudi Arabia is doing as a true Muslim leader's country. This will not only help address the challenges faced by the Muslim world, but also help eliminate any differences between our ranks. With these words, I wish the royal family and the people of Saudi Arabia prosperity, well-being and success in all times to come. May Allah Almighty keep guiding us on the right path and may we together as a representatives of our people, our faith, make good history for the Muslim world. Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, Dosti, Zindabad. Thank you. Chairman of Senate of Pakistan for sharing your view with us. Now I invite the respective chairman of Senate of Pakistan, Senator Muhammad Sadiq Sajrani, and His Excellency Nawab bin Zaid Al Malki, to please come forward for cutting off the Independence Day cake. Mamlikat Saudi Arab, Zindabad, Pakistan, Bindabad.